That's right. It's another edition of TGD Spoils. Ooh. Where we spoil the movies you want to see or at one time have watched on repeat three thousand point. million trillion billion Eight. times. Billion Which times. is the movie and four. that we're going to talk about tonight for me. I've probably seen this movie 275 times. Right here. Easy. Oh. This is oh. this is what we're going to talk about. What is about. that? That would be the original Fast and the Furious. Ooh. The original and the best. It was so fucking good. Uh. So fucking good. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was a movie, that's for sure. Vin Diesel smiled in it. Great fucking movie. It's family. Is it Vin Diesel's? I think it's honestly probably his best acting movie ever. How dare you? I mean, Riddick was good. Boiler Room, sir. Yeah. Knock around, guys. The range in The Fast and the Furious. Just the range. 500. Yeah. The Happiness. R- the range. Sad. <laughs> Happiness. Sad. Angry. <sighs> Disappointed. Nom in your face. Sang- Shocked. Sangry. We only drink Corona in this house. You can have whatever you want. As long as it's a Corona. <laughs> All right, let's just start off with the beginning. All right. Yeah. Greatest movie ever made was made in 2001. Oh, my God. 2001. In all honesty, if you watch that movie again, I swear to God, it was never meant to be in the fucking theaters. <laughs> just the, I'm so uh, glad it was. Because how it was shot, just the, the jump cuts and just... You didn't great. like how it started when it sh- it pans into the the semi truck full of uh, what, what what's the one there right in the end? You see a ten inch TV box TV box TV box TV with, with a the VHS, VHS built into it. How if you're jacking that semi? How much are you getting for that on the streets? Twenty bucks. <laughs> Yeah. They're, they're, like, they're talking like the, this. This they got hundred thousand dollar cars. In in oh one, the VHS was dated fucking material then. Right, right. So, so unless so. you had a fuck ton of those Disney, yeah. Disney movies laying. Yeah, around. until they started coming out on DVD. Yeah, your old Disney movies. But it's not even like it's like a fifty inch TV. It's a fucking ten inch. It's this, yeah, and a it's bunch this of fucking big DVD players. I guess back then. Think about when shit like first comes well, the out. The DVD players, I can understand being expensive. Right. VHS, no. Right. No. I, I just yeah. So I, I'm just saying, it's a whole lot of risk. So it and already not a lot of it already started out. Ten shaky. seconds in, and we already got plot holes. <laughs> and, <laughs> dude, plot holes are not the words in this movie. And, well, then the next second, it shows the ninjas discreetly going to hijack a semi, but all blacked out. All blacked out. And they're matching Honda Civics. I mean that that's a gang if I've ever seen we're not a team but let's talk about their their first mistake you have bright ass neon green lights on it <laughs> why do you have underglow <laughs> you could they could see you coming I wonder where they went oh look at that fucking green glare Hell all yeah. the way over there there they are I just I just don't understand why you need underglow under your car right they should have had the headlights off and right just you know Some what I mean? James they should have been, they right. been driving with fucking, uh, what are they called? Uh, night vision goggles. Right. Right. Doing but it real. Doing it right. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, I get real in depth with it. Like, but you got to think this is 2001. Everyone right. had street glow. On right. It. It was they, they awesome. Had night vision, they had night vision goggles in 2001. <laughs> yeah, <that's> true. <laughs> Let's talk about the second plot hole here. You know, harpooning. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> In the passenger seats. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What semi-driver does not just say, he's, he just clipped it onto his belt. I'm going to slam on the brakes and watch him fly out of that fucking car. <laughs> I'm, he's going to get torn in half from how, the sunroof. How about that semi-driver just goes, uh, fuck this merchandise. It's all fucking insured anyway. Right, right, just pull over. <laughs> we got 10-inch TVs back there. You can have it, bro. And the guy's just... Driving perfectly straight as this guy climbs through his windshield. <laughs> Tries to beat him with a pipe. Is, is beat him with a baseball bat. All right, now I'm going to fucking... I'm going to whack him. Then he I, got a fucking dart in his neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking dart. It did catch him in his arm, to be it factually did. straight. Yeah. But is this bad? Old school. Is this bad? Movie reference while movie talking about it. Movie, yeah. <laughs> it's movie it's like inception. Yeah. 
What a great, great stunt. The fucking Civic underneath the semi. Oh, boy. One of that the, was risky. One of the better ones ever written. Great stunt. Hold on. Is it true, though, that they didn't know the car was actually going to fit under the semi before they did it? Well, I'm sure they, like, that Measured day, it. they were shooting that day, and they didn't they didn't really measure it before they were about to do the stunt. Well, those are all I'm sure they did try it, you know, before they actually shot the scene, but... Well, they I'm sure they measured it, but... They but, didn't 100% know if it was going to go... But roads aren't always properly. just... That uh, road, dude right. driving had to have been fucking, like, Ooh, white I like, I guarantee... I guarantee that he had brown pants on that day. Yeah, he's sitting in the car fucking the, head down. <laughs> I'm wearing my brown pants. Please don't take my head off. Please don't take my head off. The one that was more frightening to me than that stunt was the second time they did it with Letty at the end of the, you know, towards the end yeah. of the movie. Yeah. When she had to just whip across the three lanes of traffic. Right. Yeah. That's more sketchy because that ain't another that ain't another controlled road. They're out in the fucking wherever you know desert. Yeah. right and it's all the way through instead of like easing into the middle it's just you're passing we'll over get to that we'll and, get to that guys and that was also let's a, just go through the a timeline different trailer <laughs> we, we've already hit in the first ones right here with the, oh, the yeah. underglow in the seat well so then they get the truck they, they get the truck they get it mission accomplished <laughs> and then next you got Brian O'Connor. Brian. Or, or, I'm sorry. Brian, Brian Earl Spillner. Earl Spillner. BES. You're a fucking serial killer. Is he at Dolphin Stadium. BES is at the Dolphin Stadium. In the parking lot, just rubbing his how motor. Many, how many gears did he shift? Uh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> he, In a five speed Mitsubishi he, Eclipse. He does go, I think, at six gears. And he did shift into second twice. Well, when you have two second gears. Right. <laughs> it's. <then laughs> You know. I was I was like, what the fuck? He just shifted and he just down shifted again? He was granny shifting. Yeah. Yeah, which who the fuck double clutches? I don't give a fuck what anybody right. says. No. Well, it is safer for your transmission, but no one does it. No one does it. Double clutching sucks. Yes. Unless you're super good at it. Get the get the you gotta, a, <laughs> you gotta play double bass. Yes, really that's good. what I was just about to say. A lot of drummers, a lot of drummers <laughs> come <laughs> close. I just feel like how I did don't he know. spin out? What was his top speed? One forty. Yeah, why did he spin out? His car just. And why was he angry? He's just. There was probably a leftover hot dog in that parking lot. It's a. Fu- <laughs> you're, he fucking. This, this is the thing that pissed me off about that a little bit about this movie. It's a fucking drag race. You're not fucking worrying about corners and shit. You're just driving in a fucking straight line. And he can't even do that. No. It's because he's reckless. Guys. He's got a heavy foot. <laughs> I've seen you drive. So stupid. So so he leaves the stadium, and he's a little upset with his vehicle that it topped out at 140 and just randomly spun out of control. So Shit. Shit. <laughs> Frustrating. <laughs> Which... Randomly spinning out of control. I don't know. Did he hit a patch of sand out there? It was the there? hot dog. It was the hot dog in the. Uh, yeah, from the leftover ball game that they just had. Yep. It was the hot dog. Shouldn't have that popcorn. No, someone threw up in the parking lot like at school. They used kitty litter to clean it up. Just yeah, dumped exactly. it down there. Yeah. I don't know how or why he spun out, but I didn't. I mean, there's no logic to any of this. No. No. It's just a great fun movie. It, you see, you see, because of that G word. It's, huh? It's, it's not so a, great. It's not a great movie. It's a great fun movie. It's great. it's a. I never said it's a great movie. It's no, a it's legitimate a pile movie. of shit. I That's what the Fast it. and the Furious How is. I love it. But, <laughs> well, so now he has to infiltrate the the gang or the team, right? Well, he goes back to. Uh, He's getting his tuna with the, the racer's edge. Right. <laughs> so he goes back and he tells him he needs more nas. <laughs> Need more dos. Two bottles. The big ones. I need the big ones I need too. Nos. Dude, I need them by tonight. And he tells him, "No, Brian, I've seen you drive. You have a heavy foot." <laughs> New drivers Reckless. like you don't use nas. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is he talking about? <sighs> Who like, knows? hey, hey, asshole. What did I just say? But Put it, it in there. <laughs> and also the shop trucks of Ford F one fifty Lightning, which is pretty sweet. A sixty thousand dollar truck, brand new back then. 
not it's bad to be doing a shop parts. truck. Yeah. One of the dope, dopest trucks of all time. It is. It so is. I got a story. I actually got a story about that. Let's hear. When it. I was fucking clowns. When I was selling fucking cars at CarMax, like the week before I got hired, a guy got fired because he took the lightning out for a test drive, which was <laughs> he was by himself. Yeah. It was fucking hammering down the furniture road on fifth, you know, on ninety four. Lost control, went in the ditch, and fucking wrecked the f- fucking oh, totaled Jesus. it out. Fuck. <laughs> Sales manager just yeah. did that recently at our dealership, beginning of summer. Put a Hellcat into a curb and ripped the front axle off. So yeah, that's like see, they they're reckless. Or no. They got heavy foot. Yeah. <laughs> another side note. Another reason why this movie was one of the worst movies to happen to America. Uh, Every asshole decided to go buy a stick shift car after they saw fucking Fast and Furious. Dude, you just oh, want to yeah. bang gears. You know what I mean? Like it's so. So I have this guy walk in. He's like, "Oh, yo, I see you got a Mustang out there. Is it stick shift?" Yep. You ever drive stick before? Well, no, but you know. <laughs> I'm like, "What are you doing here?" All right. Let's go. This is going to be an interesting. <laughs> this could be a great test drive. We get in this car, and he, first off, has killed it three times before we get out of the parking lot. I'm like, bro, you're, you sure you want to drive this car? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. I would have been like, nope. I'm like, dude, pull the fuck over, please. Did you tell him he was granny shifting? <laughs> no, I looked at him. Not double like you no, should have. I looked at him, and I was like, I will show you how to drive this fucking car. <laughs> Let me do the test drive. The I get remaining in, of the time we have here. I get in and I, you know, I my first car was stick, so I know how to drive stick. And I hammered down the front of the road. I, you know, we may have been over a hundred miles an hour at one point. <laughs> get to the stop sign. Show them it. Turn, you know, turn on their under ninety four back to the other side of the front of the road to go like towards Rogan's shoes and shit. And I open that bitch up. This dude is white duckling. <laughs> <laughs> He is pale as fuck. Did and you take it? So I get back to the dealership, and I'm just like, all right, what'd you think? He goes, I, I got to think about it. <laughs> and, left. and I was a prick about it because I, apolog- up? I straight up apologized to the car because of how many times he, I'm like, hey, hey I'm sorry. You know, sorry so we'll find I you. wouldn't have let him get behind that wheel. I'd have been like, you never drove stick, and you want to so, test drive and blow this fucking clutch up. The next day, nah. I see him in, you know, where they leaving in the car. They bought the car from a, a girl I worked, a, a different salesperson. And my manager calls me in the office. He goes, yeah, I'm not going to give you half of the deal in that sale because you, the guy said you drove the car. He did. I go, dude. <laughs> he didn't even know how to drive. We were on the frontage road with cars whizzing past us. If I didn't drive, we would have fucking died. Yeah, so. Here you are. I'm like, so enjoy your Mustang, douchebag, because you couldn't drive stick for shit. And it's I'm sure you press. Oh, I'm sure he replaced that clutch three to four times. The week after. The week after, I guarantee it. I don't think he took the extended warranty either. So I had a guy <laughs> call me literally. He's like, hey, I just bought this Honda S2000. I was like, oh, My that's fool. <laughs> Which in... in <laughs> Fast and Furious, it's not an S2000. It's just a Honda 2000. Honda 2000. Right. It's fools running a Honda 2000. Well, this is probably like eight years after that movie even came out. Well, he ended up buying one, and he calls me, and he's like, can you meet me at the dealership and drive it home? And I was like, <laughs> can you drive him home? What? I'm too drunk to drive. I'm like, what about my... He's like, I don't know how to drive stick. <laughs> I'm like, you just bought a fucking stick shift, brand new, Did 2000, and you're, and you're going to tell me you don't know how to fucking drive Some it? Some people are going for it. Did Bro. It, did it have the red leather in it? Uh, no. It was a it was a red car with black leather. Let's see, the problem I had with the S two thousand is they had the silver, the red, yellow. Yellow. Black. And did, and did black. they did they have a black? Yeah. 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 And, Johnny Tran and had the one. Silver <laughs> the silver and black always had red leather and it. I wanted to throw up looking at it. Yeah, you didn't like it? Oh, I like the red leather. So it looks I was going to say, there's so many people that ins- probably love that inside shit. Inside the car, though, just how, just everything, because everything else was black, though. Mm-hmm. And then it was just the, it didn't 
fucking match. It didn't look right. On a right car, though, I think it. On some cars, on, on, it does. The, on a right car, yeah. On that S two thousand, no. Yeah. I saw a Do yellow one, one with yeah. the red leather in it. No, that's not right. Yeah, that's like a crayon box. <laughs> I. It was McDo- No, that's the McDonald's car. <laughs> Oh shit! Ba, 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 ba. All right, back to Fast so, and Furious. So Brian O'Connor, no, it's Brian Spiller. Brian Spiller. I'm sorry, he's still Brian Spiller. <clears throat> Goes and gets a tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> With no crust. Crust has got to be cut off. Who goes to a place? Yeah, and has and for the crust to be cut off. Right. Seriously, when you're fucking twelve years old. <laughs> right. She, he's trying to like pick this chick up, and and she's probably looking at him like, "What a fucking wants that crust cut off." He's what love, a bitch. He, he was what he was bitch. trying to tell her the whole time. That is that he, code? He, he is loved that code he loved going something? down on girls. He loves so, the tuna. No so crust. give me that. T- yeah. No crust. That means you better be shaved. Right. <laughs> it's all code. It's metaphors. It's and it's, that's it's fucking hilarious. Code. That's all it is. Oh shit. So, <laughs> oh, we have a special guest. Oh, little muncher. So yeah, <laughs> him and one of homeboys. Be careful, my ears. What's your ears? This must mean your mother is sleeping right now. Is mommy sleeping? Mm-hmm. This is real podcast stuff right here. Right. Oh, Say okay. hi, Val. What did you think of Fast and Furious? Say hi, Ben. The movie that we watched. Did you like it? With all the cars? Yeah. It was real good, right? It was a great movie? No. <laughs> okay, let me go take care of this. You guys talk about uh, uh, tuna fish sandwiches. So, with watch, the your tuna fish, watch your back. Watch your back. So, I, I, I get that he's trying to maybe be smoothed by that, but at the same time, like... He goes. He even asked her, "How's the tuna fish?" It was shitty yesterday. Shitty the day before. It's gonna be shitty again today. Yeah, but he likes tuna fish. So then the the, the gang shows up, or I guess you would say the team. The team shows. <laughs> the team shows up, and they're not happy because one, they're talking about this dude's car that's all fucked up. Which is, first off, let's go through. It's a Nissan Sentra. It's you don't talk shit about a Nissan <sighs> Sentra, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It's a street racing movie with badass cars. That's not a badass car, bro. It was a four door Sentra. Four door family. You guys, I'm back. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for uh, joining us. The muncher was out and about. That means your lady was passed the fuck out. Yeah, she's done. Bella's got full range of the house now. This is this is your your confined little area, and she runs the rest of the show. <laughs> All right, so they fight. They no, got, we're, we're, we're getting to the fight. We right were getting now. there where he shows up with the crew, and now he go ahead. You know, they're talking about his fucking shitty Sentra, and he sees the parts truck, the racer's edge, the beautiful Ford Lightning, and he goes inside, and of course, right off the bat, he sits next to Brian. Earl spill in there and knocks the just sugar packets slides the too. sugar packets over right oh just bitch get so, over there so do you think Vince had a thing for Mia no no I don't think so not at all because the first thing she says Vince what can I get you look good you look good <laughs> yeah and Brian knew it was time to get the fuck out of there yeah. shit was gonna number go number one south. thanks Mia see you tomorrow and that was but that was his oh. That was his shot. That was his dig. See Who, you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Whoever wrote the dialogue for this tomorrow. fucking movie, did they just hand him the script that day? <laughs> like, they just cast everybody. like, here, just we'll make it up as we go. Go in there and get a tuna fish. Strong F word in that movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, did, he does drop the uh, bundle of sticks real hard. <laughs> get yourself, what is it, a burger for five ninety five? Yeah. Nah, he, what does he say? Go up the street to Buddy Burger, get yourself a burger and fries for two ninety five. Yeah. Faggot. Oh. Say he said it. He said it. <laughs> hey, we'll oh. hey he movie. said it in the movie. Right? And he said it he strongly. He said it strong. Too. You it just was. don't hear that in movies. Yeah. And it was only two ninety five for a burger and a Coke. Well, yeah, well, that was also at Whataburger. Yeah, but they he had already been there, and they wouldn't cut the crust off. No. So he's yeah. like, fuck this place. You guys got tuna? Well, first off, it's a bun. It's all crust. 
He Brian, Ooh. he likes the tuna there. Yeah, bullshit like, like, asshole. No one likes the tuna here. <laughs> <laughs> and then they brawl. He pushes him into his car. Yeah, one of the worst cut fight fight scenes I've ever seen. It was yeah. Yeah, Vince is on top of him and someone in editing and fucked up. It's like they just threw the fucking film into a wood chipper and picked <laughs> up the fucking pieces and put it back together. Auto, just splice it in. Audio digital enhancing. Just put those scenes in and see what it makes. That looks good. And then Daddy Dom. They're fighting. Dom, get out there. Come on, Dom. And then I'm not here kidding. comes here comes Vin Diesel with his one liner. Bef- before the fucking steroids <laughs> when he weighed about 173 pounds. Sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think she was putting in that sandwich? Mm. It's juice. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> First off, they own. I'm a, in your face. They own a store <laughs> with a car gara- a garage attached to the back of it. Is that what we're being? Well, the garage is in a different place. Is yeah, the they have a garage. A place? So yeah, he owns a plethora of businesses. Yes, so that's why he's robbing motherfuckers because his businesses, obviously, you know, if you own a business, you don't. Well, yeah, I mean, if your if your food sucks, so right, Dominic Toretto. Tuna. Dominic Toretto is an entrepreneur, is what we're saying. Exactly. Well, he owns a tuna shop, a garage, a garage, and he has a beautiful home with a pool barn and a charger in there. Mm-hmm. Actually, that was just a regular garage, not even a pool barn. It was just yeah. a garage. It's a barn though with a basketball hoop on it, with no backboard. It was no backboard. No, just the, the room hoop. was just <laughs> drilled the into barn. the side drilled of the this. side of the garage. Fuck it. No bank shots here, bitches. All right, so now we get into the... So... Then it gets dark. What happens at night? The street racing begins. <laughs> and all these badass cars are pulling up. 2001, ladies didn't know what a squat was. According no asses. To Fast of the Furious. No asses. There's no ass. So when Jennifer Lopez was the biggest ass known to man. Right. Everybody lost She's their so mind when they hot. saw Jennifer. You can... You know, everybody talks about the Kardashians. You can blame Jennifer Lopez for the giant ass. Right. Starting J-Lo. the giant ass. Mm-hmm. And she's like 50 and still looks fucking smoking. Oh, my God. Sorry, sidetracked. I'm fucking... <laughs> <sighs> I'm all flustered. So... We're but, introduced uh, to a plethora of new beautiful characters at this point. You get uh, the Spanish fellow. What was his name? The... Hector. Hector. Basically, any movie that has a Mexican bad guy, it's him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember He's he, in it. He was in Crank when he got chucked off the top of the building. And, uh, of course. He lasted 30 seconds in Crank. Training day. Training day. Yeah. <laughs> He's a vato for sure. Yeah. He just, Anytime they need a vato for a movie. If Danny Trejo is busy, they yeah, call Dan- this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's the new. He's the younger Danny Trejo. Yeah. All right, we need a bald guy, and Danny's not shaving his head. All right. Here we go. Call up this guy. Hector, what's some last name? I can't pronounce it, though, fucker. <laughs> I got a last name, too, but I can't pronounce it. And then they got Edwin. Oh. Edward, Edwin is uh, a.k.a. Ja Rule. Token black guy. <laughs> Who talks in the third person, which seriously <laughs> drives me fucking nuts in that. One thing Edwin knows about you. God, you know, you... Stand by it. It's how you drive it. How you, you stand by your car. It's how you race your car. All right. Fuck. Edwin. You better learn that. So they open the hood of Spillner's car. Ooh. Uh, which wait, is the number one bad one. Don't worry. Dom shows up first. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they s- let he smell something. Well, well no, wait. <laughs> what they, does she smell? First off, how they show up. They show up in the flying V from the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> and it's it's digitally in fucking hands and posed. Oh, yeah. I. Why can't they just impotent. drive normally up there in the fucking flying V? They just showing up in the flying V. That makes no sense. Then fall back into line. And Dom parks in the middle of this alleyway where all these <laughs> other cars are parked, basically blocking seven plus cars in along with his whole crew. Yeah, there's, whole like, there's like 20 people blocked team. in now. They're not a gang. They're, they're a, gang. a team. Yeah, so when they left the race, they would have had to back up all the way out of there. Yep. Because there's no way for them to turn yeah. around. See, they should have spent 15 minutes in the movie showing them try to back up. <laughs> Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah. No, no, 12 point go. turn. You go. Go ahead. This fucking guy. <laughs> Stop hitting your switches in your Honda Civic, too. Right, dude, sit there. Who the, who the fuck puts hydraulics in a Honda Civic? Right, but. 
I, I understand like, air ride. Right. But not like little, actual like hydraulics. And you notice when he tells him in the movie, he's walking over. He's like, oh, yeah, that's my ride right there. And they show the car that was literally right next to them the whole time they were talking. Yeah. So what the fuck is he pointing at over Once there? Once again, another fucking another masterful editing. editing. Yeah. It was horribly edited. Oh, so They were like, that's probably the coolest car there. Let's make it that one. They yeah. decided to race for $2,000. Spilner, BES, doesn't have the fucking money. So he puts his car up. They lift the hood up. And the little retarded kid. I'm sorry. This little <laughs> metal like, challenge kid. He I, says it himself. He's got... He's got ADD. 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 Yeah, that's no, shit. No, it, it was more like he was autistic, <laughs> to be honest with you, or on just a lot of opioids. Why doesn't he ever wear? He has a button-down shirt, and it's never on his shoulders. Ever. It's always hanging on his arms. And it's he's got a beanie. Driving me in nuts. In California. Is he hot? Because then take the shirt off. <laughs> take the hat off, motherfucker. So as they're talking, Ja Rule sticks his head in and, <laughs> and then turns... And they didn't dub the lips right because he turns and says something and it looks like he said, you know, the old Kung Fu movies. Like, yeah. Who, who puts this much under the hood of a car? And then it was like, for, for five minutes after that. I was fucking cracking up. There's just this, listen. Poorly put together, but this, a great fucking like I movie. Say, they paid the editor like fucking hey man we're gonna give you we're gonna give you 38 bucks and uh we'll buy you lunch if you edit this pile of shit if it's pretty good <laughs> give you a six pack at the end of the night we shot it completely out of sequence too there's it's, <laughs> the funny part was when so they finally go to race and they're uh you know the two ladies are walking across drawing the red line for the starting line with spray paint and there's literally <laughs> there's a crosswalk a crosswalk like three feet up Right. Of a white line that goes all the way across. Perfect the white line. Right John there. looks at me. He's like, "Why don't they just use the white line?" <laughs> <laughs> it makes no that sense that they're just rebels and they were making their own rules. Fuck that line. We're gonna make our own. That that probably would exactly and that what line. You know that line wasn't straight at all. No, <laughs> that was the that line looked, was a fucking S curve. You know, and they're like crossing each other. Like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> so and then. BES pulls up and uh, doesn't want to stop at a red line like everybody <laughs> else did. Jumped the line. Jumped the line. Amateur, bro. So he put all that money under the hood, but he still left the stock brakes on the car. <laughs> That's what we've been doing. <laughs> yeah. He don't drive so well. There's maybe no hot. There's a two thousand dollar bet, but I'm gonna put the pinks up for my eighty thousand dollar car. Eighty thousand dollar car. He can't come up with two grand for the buy-in, but he puts an eighty stack <laughs> car on the line. Yeah, so, but he was betting respect. Yeah, he says he wanted the respect. Some people, that's more important. Oh, and then he gave, and then he gave the speech, <laughs> and Dom was like, the approving head nod, like, oh, this guy, you gotta this earn guy really, respect. this yeah. guy could really be the real deal. He might be family. He be like, he might, he, I might give him a Corona later on in the movie. <laughs> oh fuck, no limes though, you know. So they race. Dom Toretto wins. <laughs> Ja, Monica! Ja, ja Rule doesn't get his fucking menage. Because eh? the woman comes up to him and says, I'm yours whether you win or lose. But if you win, you get, get her, her too. too. And That was proven to be false. Yeah, right. She kicked his ass to the curb right when he got back. As soon as he... What am I? She's like, motherfucker, you didn't win? <laughs> Paraphrasing a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't drop an end bomb. No. But they can't in movies. It's not fair. She was only Latin. I mean, I I, I, I got deeper roots. I'm Italian. How dare you? Yeah, you're. Uh, I'm allowed your to. Blood. I'm allowed to use words that are inappropriate. It's in your blood. <laughs> so he didn't get no ass that night. No. So. It sucks to suck. What about the Asian kid in the fucking <laughs> car racing on a video game before he's about to race yeah, and he's fucking slamming into the walls? What the fuck? <laughs> You're in a left-hand turn, and you're turning right. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? If you're sitting in your car, slamming in the walls before you're about to race. I don't want to be next like, to that guy. When you just, like, back out and be like, sorry, guys, not feeling it tonight. Nah, <laughs> 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 nah I usually got to get a lap in first. That lap yeah, wasn't no. feeling too hot. I'm going to let me I'm get all my over the place. I'm all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ridiculous. And then, of course, you know, you got great race, Brian race, and Dominic great putting their nitrous up. bonding experience. So they race, Spilner loses, 
somehow blows the floorboard out of the car because the manifold is in danger. <laughs> right. What the fuck is that? He, he's got, he's, nothing. he's well, got a steel plate on the floorboard of the passenger side, and the bolts just explode. Just ding, 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 ding. What does that have to do with what happened? any moving part of the car? It's the fucking floorboard. It I am blown By away. By the way, this the danger a- to da- manifold doesn't mean shit. About a floorboard. They board. had a like a... a a guy that what do they call it? Like a um, a prop guy? No, a guy who like gives information. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a researcher, you know. Yeah. They had like an actual street racer. They were like asking him questions. How do we do this? How do we do that? How should we shoot this? Asking him, you know, because these people just make movies. Yeah, because yeah. not street. Yes, that's perfect. Good job. Good pull, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, what is this? Da-? He's reading the script. He's like, what is this danger to manifold? <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, we're using that. He's like, this this is not a car term. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we don't care. We're putting it in. <laughs> wow. Well, my favorite part is that it is, shut up, clang. <laughs> right. I'm going to push another fucking 100 shot. And- <laughs> no. All he did was push us buttons. Hold on. Isn't this a 10-second race, though? How far are they racing? Yeah, Cause why, he, why did a 10-second race take three and a half minutes? Right. It really... I mean, he was doing 160 with two shots of NOS, like... Yeah. Longest... 10 seconds? Quarter mile ever. Well, he pulls back... Okay, here's another plot fucking hole. He pulls back after the race. <laughs> the car is fucking smoking. <laughs> right. You don't even know if it's drivable. Then, literally, two minutes later, cops, cops, cops. are coming... Hop in the car. Car drives away fine. Yeah, he was able to outrun him. It, no it wasn't. It wasn't fucking knocking. It didn't miss one time. So as they're leaving and they're they're all scrambling away from these cops, Dominic Toretto hops in his RX-7 and he pulls into a parking garage where he's completely safe away from all the cops. Just hang out, bro. Just sit in your fucking car and wait it out, right? Ride the storm out. Yeah. Put some music on. Toretto. You, you know what I'm saying? Instead, he gets out of his car and decides he's going to walk somewhere. Where the fuck was he going? You going to walk home now? And how the fuck did that cop know that it was Dominic Toretto walking down yeah, the street? Yeah, he just You're looking for, for street racers second. and cars, and there's a guy walking down the street. Toretto! Stop! And then he outruns the cop like you wouldn't believe, dude. He was Not gone. Not a very there's, good runner. The cop is nowhere to Fucking be found. Really <laughs> He's bad so runner. Running for Where <laughs> did he... His legs went in 12 different directions. He ran like fucking Joaquin Phoenix did. <laughs> Bro. But Joaquin Phoenix got faster. It's bad. It, it was bad. And then he's running down the alley. The cop isn't even there. All of a sudden, right. here comes Brian. Well, I don't even think we need to say there's plot holes in this movie. because No, just <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> it's these just are, covered these in are, plot holes. These are plot craters. <laughs> they should have uh, called it plot holes and furious. Yeah. That would be pretty... <laughs> the f- probably the more catchy. The- the so slow the, and the mildly irritated. That poor <laughs> that poor eclipse. Just got beat to hell. Oh. And then that's when Johnny Tran comes in. Oh, they, they were driving to on the wrong side of town. He got lost, he said. My new driver. First off, wouldn't mechanic. you notice? Wouldn't Don be like, yo, yo turn around. Right? Where the fuck are you going? We're going to Chinatown. That's not allowed, all right? So, first off, why is there a gang of pissed off Asians on motorcycles just cruising around looking for, for Dom Toretto <laughs> right. across the border? And they're just, they got nothing to do? Nothing to do but having Uzis. They got a bunch of money. On Wouldn't the side they be of their at like a hit. nightclub or something? Right. Now, let's just cruise around with our machine guns and see if anyone drives on our fucking turf. If so, I'm going to shoot up their fucking car. Uh-oh. What the hell is that thing? My daughter. She loves Fast and Furious, guys. She so. does. So. <laughs> she wants a Supra just as much as Daddy. Dom never takes the car, so. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. What are those? What are those? I can't believe. So Dom never takes that. takes fucking, what's it called? Uh, delivery of the car, so it's not his. Right, he's like, whose car is this? He's like, it's his. I didn't take delivery. What does that fucking mean? Because he didn't sign the title over? Bitch, you got the title in your pocket. What do you need to fucking... Right, yeah. I mean, technically, did did Hector hand him the money right away when he got back from the race? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, you you see him at the end. He gives him the the high five. I think he does say, too, like, if my sister holds the money. Yeah. All right, you're right, he does. So they have the title. Hey, look at that. They They did have a giant plot hole right there. Right there. 
So, uh, Johnny Tran and his cousin, his cousin, wearing the snakeskin wearing pants, snakeskin leather pants. Which what the fuck? The whole movie, it's leather pants. There had to be the that fucking <laughs> wardrobe truck had to stink like nutsack. Why is there so much leather pants uh, in California? It had to stink so bad in that wardrobe. Is, truck. is that is that at that thing? Beanies and, and leather pants, like I don't know what it is, but it, oh, yeah, ugh, it had to smell, just Fumunda for days. Fumunda. Once again, no asses on these ladies. None whatsoever. So after so, Snakeskin and them get get done talking their shit to them, BS and Dom Toretto hop in a fucking taxi. Well, first. Yeah, they they leave him there, and they tell him, we'll see him at Race Wars, and they drive off. And he's like, what's that about? Get in the car. And they go to hop in the car. For some reason, they come back on the motorcycles and shoot the car up with their Uzis. And the NOS makes the car explode. Which, yeah, this is just a stupid, stupid plot. And I love the fact that afterwards he says, what was that all about? He goes, it's a long story. He goes, well, we got a long walk. We got a 20-mile walk. So then what does he say? We used to do business together, and I slept with his sister. Not that long of a story. Nah, he got the point across. I understand. Uh, Not that long of a story at all. Completely. Okay, you guys had business deals. You fucked his sister. (laughs) Things probably didn't end very well. That's why he shot up your car right now. All right, I understand that. What are we going to do and talk about for the next fucking 20 miles? Yeah, no shit. (laughs) Since they got like 20 fucking feet before that story, that long story was over. Or maybe just Dominic is that good at summing things up. Just well, straight to like the I point. Said, it wasn't a long story. A long story would have been like, he would have went in depth. Oh, we were, uh, you know, hanging out when we were 12 years old and shit like that. But no, it was fucking, I banged his sister and had a business deal go bad. Fucking business. Once again, who wrote this fucking movie? Thank you. It's an amazing movie. I love it. It's not. See again. It's not amazing. It's so good. It's horribly. Are you guys still shot. talking about the greatest movie of all time? Yes. Sorry the Fast about and the that, guys. Family stuff, you know. Yeah. That's life, right? All You're right. Being so, a dad here. Like so a bunch of meaningless bullshit goes on, showing them how to build up uh, their relationship, and then Spillner shows up with. It's a ten-second car. That's not a 10 second car, that's a 10 minute car. <laughs> well, they, first they get back to the house. After it saves them from the cops, they what, get back where, to the house. Once again, it's, it, this is all meaningless plot points. Well, the, the best part about it is when he tells them. Gives them the beer? You could have any anything you want to drink as long as it's a Corona. Well, it was the guy he fought, his Corona. Right. So he wiped off his... Gave him the mean mug. He, yeah. he wipes off the mouth where there obviously has not been a sip out of the beer. You could tell it's a fresh beer. When he takes it from him, he spills a bunch, too. And well, shit. he cracked that beer, and then he busts out the guitar. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and shout it. out to the Zach Wild guitar from Ozzy that right? he had, dude. Just the fucking bullseye guitar. Bum, bum, okay, bum. so this is when the... I only know three chords. <laughs> I just had my first lesson. <laughs> and I'll just stare at you deeply and broodingly. This is all I know. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, the best part is when he was setting it down, and it was... <laughs> so, Brian and Mia get a Snapple. <laughs> <laughs> and instantly, when they go to the next room, that changes to fucking... I got hoes. The music changes. I got hoes. And if you're going to go back and watch Fast and Furious, watch as Jordana Brewster walks into the room and drills her elbow off the top of the piano. <laughs> there's <laughs> probably pretty uh, cool. Yeah, there's probably a blooper reel where she's like, mother <laughs> fucker. <laughs> she <laughs> fucking drills that piano with an elbow. But you know what? That's how life is. You know, it's being real. You just, I bet yeah. you in her head, she's like, oh, fuck. Like yeah. doing a podcast and your daughter keeps sneaking out here. Right, yeah. Fucking it's life, bro. So, <laughs> that time. So they start building the car together and everybody's starting to become friendly and blah, blah. Yeah, fuggy, blah. A ten second Would you car, say man. that they're starting to become family? Family. <laughs> sure. Family. And Dom Toretto talks about how his dad died in a race because oh, Numb Nuts slammed him into the wall. It was touching, bro. Huh? Once again... These are drag strips. They all fucking 
the, they're talking about. These aren't. That no, wasn't. That was it. Yeah, that was. Because uh, he was coming around the final. Turn. Did you look at all the posters in the garage? Yeah, but the story. It was all goddamn was, dragway he posters. Was a, he was a stock racer, stock yeah, car racer. He was coming up in the, the stock final car lap, circuit. and it was the last turn. And so he, he was clipped. racing at places like Wilmot, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then he got he, put and, into the wall. And then the Dom beats the guy, the shit out of the guy with the wrench, and then he's a janitor. Now. Yeah, but I thought it was crazy that he was a janitor before. He thought he heard his dad screaming, but it was him. They said it was me who was screaming. <laughs> Such good acting. That's what I'm saying. Well that movie, written. Right. Beautifully done. Beautiful. Just great movie. Great script. Great acting. How many uh, I mean, Oscars great, did it win? Great wardrobe, too. I mean, who was the tank top lady? Dude. Just, we need more tank tops. On and, right. And Let's put a camel and a mesh. <laughs> and, and Von Dutch. Shout out to Von, Von Dutch. Yeah, that, that, that Sponsored was, the shit out of that movie. Every time he fucking spilled or put a shirt on, a t-shirt on, it said Von Dutch Even on Toretto it, had one on when he's his, inside the shirt, engine bay. His, yeah. his work shirt was also a Von Dutch one from when they're sitting at the uh, barbecue. Right. Normally, if you have one Family of those barbecue. Uh, like garage shirts, like those Dickies, it usually yeah. like has your name. No, right. Like Von Dutch, Dutch yeah. bro. Von Dutch. Got a Von Dutch is working Would it here. say Toretto or would it say Dominic? It was said Dom. Dom. Because no one called him Dominic. Dominic. Dom, get to the job of Dominic. <laughs> Dominic was the kid's name in uh, Kindergarten Cop. Watched that recently, too. Well, Such we can have a, We'll do a spoil on that one. Yes. That's one of my favorites. It's so good. There's not a lot of plot holes in that, or you know, in that one. Fast and the Furious, different story. We're gonna keep going. There's plot holes, holes all here. over this fucking road. Yeah, on Fast and the up Furious. Rims. Yeah, first off, this this movie has more plot holes than the Dan Ryan Express. Movie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at in the storyline here? All right, so the, this is a. Uh, they just left the house. No, we're not, we, we're not going we're, through the whole movie because we're already almost at an hour. I'm just the first 20 minutes of this fucking movie. Holy bro, shit. Fucking shitty it bro, was. It's so good. So, so yeah, we speed it up to, like you said, so he brings him the car, 10-second car. Now it's the now it's the bonding to one they're building the car right. and all, getting it all ready for him to race. This movie did have a montage in it. In any movie that's ever been written, you've got to have a montage. Any... And the montage was they were working on the car, and then Dom and Letty decided to fuck on a couch. No, they yeah. motorboated first. Yeah, Dominic's yeah. motorboat game is strong. Motorboat. He gave her the Brumski for sure. While so she was wearing her leather car pants. car building, motorboating raid going on. So as on. they're building this <laughs> yeah. beautiful machine right here. Johnny Tran's getting raided because... Oh, Someone doing? narked. No, we forgot to put that in there. Brian, Brian is actually Brian O'Connor. Spoiler alert! Oh, careful! Spoiler alert! He's a cop. He's a cop. He's Brian O'Connor. Oh, he's an undercover. He is the most FBI non. Agent. Paul Walker was the most non-Irish looking motherfucker <laughs> with the most Irish name ever written in a movie. Right. Hey. So. Hey, <laughs> Give me a milk, Joe Rogan. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, he thinks it's Johnny Tran. They raid the house. During, during, during the motorboating montage, the raid goes on. Well, he's first of all, he's going through garages. And when he's sneaking around, he's driving his work truck. Right. That says Racer's Edge. Hey. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you with, get a different with, vehicle? With the phone number and the fucking address <laughs> on the side of it. Hey, there goes Brian. Wonder what he's doing over here. Plot hole. So then he gets caught up by Vince and Toretto. Dom asks him Held if he's a cop. A shotgun point. And he tells him no. So then they continue to go to Johnny Trans. That's when they see the DVD players. With that, were all purchased legally. Who the fuck buys that many DVD players? Hand them off for Christmas, bro. Right. Oh, yeah. Must have like fucking 50 relatives that Did are all... Did you see the dinner table? You get a DVD player and you get a DVD... You see anything wrong here, Ted? <laughs> There's no engines in the cars. Is there? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> What what are you what are you thinking? 
40 weight, 50. What a, probably 50 the greatest. Weight. I mean, there's that scene, that torture scene, and there's Reservoir Dogs. You know, those are my two favorite right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, listen. Kiss my shoes. Pump, <laughs> pumping motor oil into a guy's face is brutal. Pretty bad. But dumping gasoline on a guy who you cut his ear off to Steeler's wheel stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> yeah. That's worse. Yeah. No. Or you can go. Uh, well, to see, they took it. I wonder what they gave him, the 50? They gave him uh, the 50. Went, so they took it easy on him. Yeah, they could have went 40. 40. If they went, yeah, it looked a little bit thicker. He did kick him in the face when he tried to kiss his shoes. Right. He was doing you know, what he asked. <laughs> Poor Ted. You Poor know, he Ted. probably makes 12 bucks an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Drag this guy. They're in the warehouse, man. <laughs> He's trying to have fucking dinner with his family. Don't you think that they would have guessed, though, <laughs> the motors? Ted. The motor. Where do you think the motors are, bro? They're probably in the warehouse. Well, let's go fucking bring Ted down here and make sure. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's fucking. Why don't they just show torture. up at the warehouse and right. be like, where's our engines, motherfucker? We're here for our engines? Whatever. This, this, so I guess I'm, I'm guessing maybe they didn't pay for him. I don't know. I don't know. That was pretty much implied throughout the whole movie that no one pays for anything in these movies. Well, hey, so he told Beto to, to pass the Fetty on when he bought the... <laughs> 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 let's get to the worst name thing of all time. Race wars. Race Between wars. Between the Asians <laughs> and everybody else. The Mexicans. I just put that together. <laughs> oh, that know. makes it so much funnier. <laughs> it's the race wars, guys. <laughs> Who thought of this name? Right. No, that's what's going on now in 2019. Right. Live action race war. Live action. <laughs> so they were just literal. driving cars in 01. <laughs> now it's just yeah. Now it's escalated the zero to 200 real quick. Yeah. So race wars is happening. Bets well, are being placed. So they they get the the the, the super fix and they go and they race a Ferrari. 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 And he asks them, "What's the retail on one of those?" More than you could afford, pal. <laughs> Ferrari. And, and then Dom looks over and tells Brian, smoke him. Smoke him. Ooh. And he does. He does. He smokes him by a couple of links. Not giving a fuck about no. anyone else's safety. Nope. Just no, going over four <laughs> lanes <laughs> of traffic. Because he's got to beat this guy and show Dom how and then, his cock is. Do you love how he pulls into the fucking shrimp shack? And he pulls right into that spot like he just knew it was. Like, how do you know that there's a bunch of bikes and shit? He knew it. He number, knew it. Number he two knew it was is, spot. side note, Paul Walker could not fucking park a car to save his life no, in this he fucking can't. movie. He, well, he couldn't stop at red lines. No. He murdered the front end of that fucking <laughs> So how come in the second on one he becomes such an it's amazing so driver? True. In the first one he was horrible. Now all of a sudden he's like, oh yeah, I used well, to fucking. Well, he'd been training. He, Didn't you watch the montage before Too Fast? Well, he periods? stole cars when he was younger. Don't you think he'd have a little bit of skills driving? It's a f- he did. It's, it's a backstory, up, bro. It's f- oh yeah, it he is put it fake. on his profile. But what about him and Tyrese in number two? We'll have to get into that another time. We will because there's a whole 15 minute montage showing how he got the skyline. We can do, uh, dude. He fucking 36 episodes of spoilers on Fast and the Furious movies because there's so many of them. I can't. All right, so stop Jesse's laughing at Paul Walker not being able to park a fucking car. <laughs> it's so true. Every horrible time. at it. All right, I want you to pull up right here and park. How many times do you think they took that take? They're like, fuck it, just keep it. We'll, right. Dude, he pulled We'll leave it in there. He, you know, I understand he was in a hurry in the the Ford Lightning because he just got yeah. done getting into the fist fight. And he did smash it into the but curb. Hit your fucking brakes, bro. Yeah, he was frustrated. He was really frustrated. Well, did you notice the Jetta when they're racing for pinks? It didn't even have brake calipers on it. No. <laughs> it was one of the stunt cars. Oh, that's cool. See? Yeah, no brakes. Yeah, we don't need them. That's why he just kept driving. Yeah, he just didn't <laughs> stop. So he couldn't stop. stop. He went to the car wash. Where, where's he going? Went to the car wash. <laughs> Go fetch me my car. <laughs> and Dom wasn't having that. Man, what a great plan, your though. Your dad, you're, you're in your dad's Jetta. Let's put it up. His dad's in prison. Yeah, he's going to go back and Once for again, what? after killing they him. They should Once have made again. a prequel. Right, what happened? They never Jesse's, said Jesse's never dad. said anything about Jesse's fucking dad being in prison throughout the entire fucking movie until Race Wars. <laughs> right. <laughs> then he's going to kill him because he's going to get out and, and then they, have a car. But, but yeah. they're talking about we'll it go like Go right they, back in prison. <laughs> they're talking about it like we all should have known that Jesse's dad was in prison. Right. 
But none, no one knew because they didn't fucking bother to tell you in the movie. <laughs> Brian knew, though, what was up. He's like, I bet you there's 100 grand under that Honda 2000. Don't race him. Once again, not an S2000. It's a Honda 2000. And isn't he supposed to be like the car geek? Yeah. Right. Like, he should have been like, yeah, you're right. I'm going to get smoked in this fucking Jetta. Well, he doesn't even know what kind of car he's racing. Right. <laughs> that was my point. <laughs> oh. and, and another thing, though, too. Floppy disk. Floppy disk. He didn't have a floppy disk for the 2000. <laughs> Only for the Super. Yeah. Oh, shit. Floppy disks. All right, so he loses, takes off. Takes off. And then there's an emotional scene. Don't. Someone knocked him out. Yeah. And I think it was you. It was you. And then Dom beats up Johnny Tran for calling him a narc. Johnny Tran. And he let him know. Johnny Tran does You don't narc on nobody. I never narked on nobody. After <laughs> after everybody gets pulled away, Johnny Tran has that far off look in his eye like you know he's going to come back and shoot at somebody. Right. So Dom decides to go do another job. Horrible timing. Jesse's gone. Yeah, Jesse's down gone. a guy. They're they're yeah, but it was a score they've been waiting for for three months. So what was this? They were what waiting. was in this truck? It better have been better than 10-inch fucking VHS TV. Blu-rays, bro. Bro, this one was... Blu-rays. This was the DVD players <laughs> and turntables. And it was those Ooh. those uh, rewinders. The those separate automatic those rewinders. Car, those car rewinders. <laughs> those automatic car rewinders. Those are mint. <laughs> mint. Nostalgia. Mint condition car rewinders. <laughs> Priceless for those. Oh yeah. So they go on this and wouldn't you know it, the job goes south. Oh, it went south. Real fast. That torpedo trick didn't work. Number Don't one. Don't you think Dom would have grabbed him or started honking the horn when he saw the shotgun? Or maybe like didn't he, slow down he so he did. could jump he in. He went Vince. Stop. Well, he, yeah, no. he was already on the roof. I was going to say he could have, like, pinched his leg or something. Right. But he was already, just like, grabbed him by the fucking ankle and yanked his ass back or in. Or don't slow down until he's close enough to jump. Because, he's already tethered on. Because we were mean to... We were mean... Untethered. We were, we, were, we were led to be told that Vin Diesel is the strongest motherfucker on the, in the world. As he's trying to reach for Vince, who is a 220-pound <laughs> guy, and one-arm him back into the car. Like, what the... F- you're driving a fucking Honda Civic. Well, he beats the shit out of the rock just a few years later. We won't get into that either. That's a different one. The rock also pushed a fucking torpedo on the ice. <laughs> <in> the <water. laughs> so. All right, so job's going south. So it ain't going very well, especially for old Vince. Vince. And then Brian. Vince is getting shot at. Tells Mia and confesses. Yes. He's he, a cop. I'm a cop, Mia. What? I'm a cop. She doesn't believe him. Mm-hmm. And then he uses his next telephone. Rest in peace, next <laughs> tell. <laughs> this is Officer Brian O'Connor. Serial number 7654321. <laughs> serial number 8675309. <laughs> I think that was pretty close. So he, I thought he, he was getting buddy-buddy with Dom. How come he had to ask me if, what his phone number was? He hadn't uh, called yeah, him never, the entire right. well, time? Dude, bros don't need phone numbers. No. <laughs> bros, no. Bros, no. <clears throat> what's, his, what's the phone number, Mia? <laughs> what? He, he, only phone chir- he only chirps me. He yeah. call me. You still got to have a number, <laughs> though. That's what I'm saying. Holes. Plot so holes. We had, yeah, we had another scene. Sean's favorite. So where they're the already car gone, goes, though. Pss, under they, the semi again. They left long before Brian went after them. Oh, yeah. But Brian catches them. Well, he's in a Supra. <laughs> well, and he's got their location. Yeah. What about the 10 minutes he was trying to figure out where they were? That head start, <laughs> they just made that time up? Yeah, of so, course. So he goes there to save the day. Be a hero. <laughs> and? I want to sing it. I could be a hero, baby. All right, shut up. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we he, apologize for that. He jumps off his fucking roof of his Supra, which he pops the target top. Here, hold Jeff, on. Here, hold on. There you go. <laughs> pops the top. Live action. <laughs> and as he's climbing up, and Jeff will let you know right now that you can't do that. Can't Supras just, have, you have to take out... <laughs> Four bolts with a ratchet it takes like a half an hour. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you can't just fucking the Hawaiian just muscle pop. fuck this fucking thing off there. All right, so then he climbs on. Take the wheel, he tells Maya. Mia, take the Mia, wheel. Mia, Mia, Mia. 
Yeah. Take the damn wheel. And he climbs up. You got Vince bleeding out, first off. <laughs> this guy is... <laughs> He's, he's having t- a bad day. He's got a steel cable wrapped around his arm, which <laughs> how the fuck did he get it wrapped around his arm? <laughs> well, he, the, no, the semi-truck driver actually slammed on his brakes, and that's what swung him from one side. Yeah, but how did it yeah, wrap but, around his He did. How did how it wrap do, around his arm like that? Yeah. He had his arm up, and it twisted. All I'm saying is I could have got out of that. Well, if he would have stood up. <laughs> right. All he had to do was stand <laughs> up. stood up and went. <laughs> all he had to do and was, he, he didn't even have to stand up. All he had to do was go like this. <laughs> And untangle his arm. So it as he's crying out for Dominic, <laughs> helpless little injured <laughs> fawn. Dom's, Dom takes a shotgun blast to the front of his car, which somehow disables it. Right. Just lucky it, it, shot. It blows the tire, and then the whole fucking car <laughs> is fucking shot. shot. Popped. It's right. on the side of the road. Michelle already had a, or, uh, Letty's, Letty's Letty already, had a bad experience already. Letty's already upside down, and... Guy who I don't even know what his fucking name is. Leon. Leon. Leon yeah, Leon, who said three things in the whole fucking movie. He let Dom which know. Which is probably like, a good thing, because when he spoke, it was uncomfortable. <laughs> Find another way home, pizza boy. <laughs> That's his best line of the fucking movie. <laughs> oh, there was a murder. We're good to go. To yeah, the we're the good scales. to go. Everybody loose. The goose is loose. <laughs> <laughs> So Paul Walker right. saves the day after everyone else is fucking popped. Paul Walker throws a almost bled out Vince into top of into the car. Vince is on the floorboard on the passenger side. This and, one stayed in this and time. Paul Walker jumps off just in time as a shotgun blast goes sends, through the door. You know, goes over his head. And then she then slams she... into the desert, and, and he hangs on, which I'm actually impressed, even though I, he's, I'm sure he was clipped. And then he calls, <laughs> and Dom shows up, and Vince. For I got one simple question. They were literally on the side of the road. Why did they take him out of the car? 50 feet fucking into a the football desert. Football yes. field into the fucking desert. To work on him. <laughs> to work on him. Wouldn't you just be like, all right, right here is perfect. No. And he had the perfect belt for a tourniquet. I mean, he could have pulled it as tight as he wanted, and he's having so much trouble. So much trouble putting well, the tourniquet on. It's the blood, bro. I get it. It was slippery. <laughs> slippery, fucker. So he gets on his phone as Dominic is there to console Vince and try to keep him together, and he says... He's trying to get flight for life. This is Officer Brian O'Connell. And Dom... The music changed. And Dom... Dom was fighting. The, <laughs> the rage that was in Vin Diesel's eyes. He's having flashbacks of his father screaming. If he didn't say that he was going into shock, I think Dom would have ripped his head off. Yeah. Uh, I think Dom would have made out with him. So, cause this he, I would have said he was going in shock. He this, wasn't. Stop looking at me like that. This movie has a lot of gay undertones in it as well. So after that happens, the chopper takes him away. He gets him to the chopper. He got him there. Gets into the car. Mia, they leave. Mia, they, Mia and busted up Letty and Leon. Three words. <laughs> Mr. Three words. I'll get into the fucking uh, one last remaining Honda Civic. Which was Leon's because he didn't do jack shit the whole fucking movie. And tear off. And To go back to the house where Brian shows up. And when Brian shows up, there's Dom with a shotgun. How many cops are just going to... And he's there with the shotgun because he's got to go save Jesse. Look for Jesse because he's the Which only fan. I gotta he's find got. him before they do. <laughs> Which, what the fuck is Jesse doing? Where the fuck did this kid go? Right, he's just been driving for fucking a day straight. It, this is le- legitimately. It's this the is next like, day. Yeah, right. this is twenty four hours later. So Jesse finally fucking you know they're arguing. He's like, I didn't call the cops, but. <laughs> You are a cop. You are a cop. <laughs> so, so then Mia comes out and tries to tell him to stop, and that's when Jesse rolls up. Mm-hmm. And this and this is where the magic of the never-ending magazine comes in, meaning clip for a gun. Because John, guess who shows up? Johnny Tran and his cousin fucking Snake Pants. On dirt bikes. <laughs> Snake Pants. <laughs> Show up and unload... 150, 200 rounds. I want to say 500. Yeah. 500, Bob. I'll take 500. Between both of them. 
into they only hit Jesse they what, hit twice? Jesse like <laughs> one time twice. was it twice <laughs> I don't know I thought it was once just yeah they got right him once square in the, the chest yeah out of all the but you never see Jesse's that was the other theory about it because you never see Jesse's head so they're saying he got one in the head but mm. they couldn't put that on film because you know it would have had to been rated R yeah they were yeah. going for that PG so, thirteen, bro. So, no fucks it. What you sure it wasn't rated R? PG so, thirteen. So Brian hops back in the car and is going to chase down Johnny Tran. And now Dom gets in the fucking charger. He's never driven it because it scares him. Which he had it out of the garage earlier to go save Jesse with it. Yeah, so that's his first time he's going to take it. So as soon as that car came out of the garage, Jesse takes fucking an Uzi to the fucking face. Not good luck. You shouldn't it. drive it. And it was your dad's car? Stay the fuck away from that car. That's the It's the devil's six, car. Six, six. So Brian's chasing Johnny Tran Well, what down. did he do? Why was it out of the garage but just sitting there? Right, why wouldn't he have just left? Well, he hadn't driven it, so maybe he was checking the fluids. Yeah. <laughs> He's a proper, a proper racer. <laughs> Need to make sure that all the fluids be topped <laughs> off. So, Mio, Mio, quarter oil. What's the tire pressure at? They all even. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna go fuck these so, buckets up. They leave going left. If you were standing on the street, Brian chases them down going left. Dom leaves the house and turns right. Doesn't turn left to go ahead. I at. told you, he's taking a <laughs> shortcut. Yeah. So. <laughs> Those idiots went left. Brian, Don comes up and saves Brian's ass. Brian's getting shot at by the uh, most Uzi bullets ever. In and they're hitting every car. But, but, but his. But his the, the offense, though, if you watch how he shoots, he has the little strap on, and he literally is going... <laughs> In a like circle this, around his car. Around his car. <laughs> hitting everything on the side of him <laughs> but him. The so it makes sense. It actually, that was well shot. So they're going to box Brian in. Yeah, they on motorcycles. split up. On motorcycles. <laughs> Number one, if someone behind you on, is on a motorcycle and they have a gun in their hand, slam on Break. your fucking brakes. Right. Launch that fucker over your hood. <laughs> and then run him over. Then go yeah. then go straight then, again. Uh, all right, one down. Here we go. Yeah. Let's yeah. go get the other one. So but Dominic Toretto shortcut paid off. Yeah, it somehow <laughs> That's it magically be. turns his car and just taps the guy on the motorcycle enough to, to fly, fly off the mountain. Like a perfect landing. Then all of a sudden it cuts to a fucking horrible <laughs> landing. He broke his leg on that. Oh, easily. Yeah, the bike lands on him, rides stunt, him down. Yeah, oh. Stunt double broke his leg on that stunt. Yeah, Ooh, that, that was, was rough. That was a rough stunt. Uh, that, was a, that was a rough fall right. there. Then Johnny Tran ends up dying, too. Brian, the fucking crack shot. Pulls Call 911. Now, here's why didn't... Okay, so both the uh, Asian gang members are dead, right? It's over. Why didn't he just blame it all on them? <laughs> Because they were because them because they were already uh, <laughs> they were, yeah they were already expunged yeah huh they already in, looked into them and he it wasn't it them. Been them so next scene is Dom sitting in his place where he used to race as a teenager I used to run this in high school nothing it's ever exactly happened you know like mile. before this two people just didn't die we're just gonna casually pull up to this red light yeah yeah <laughs> Brian didn't just kill somebody and yeah. you know. <laughs> No big deal. So Let's race. So they go for their quarter mile run, which is legitimately 15 miles. Has to be at least 15 miles how long this scene goes. Yeah. Brian hits nitrous twice again. Just hitting nitrous. All right. Now, the, now the, charger. <laughs> the charger. Oh, God. Either you don't get traction and you spin and burn your tires out, which it did. Yeah. Right. Or you get massive traction and... And you do a wheelie. Yeah. Can't do both. It did. <laughs> it did both. You can't do both. <laughs> it did both at the same time. That's the amount of power that this, that's why it scared him. Yeah, because it was so, just, it was too powerful. So powerful. <laughs> Tweaked the chassis. So then they're racing and they both make it and they jump through, they jump over the train tracks just as a train's coming. Woo. They're smiling at each other. Then all of a sudden, a green semi truck pulls out of fucking oh, nowhere. No. And, Dom, no. And Dom kickflips the fucking charger <laughs> over 
Brian's over Subaru. Brian's car and rolls the charger, snaps the front axle. I mean, they, that's the car saddest was part of that movie. Fucked up. Yeah, that car saddest was part of that movie. Up. So Brian walks up to the side, and the only injuries on a seatbeltless Vin Diesel. <laughs> Is a shoulder. is a dislocated shoulder and a cut on his head. Oh yeah, not what he had in mind. <laughs> so <laughs> Brian hears the cops coming. They have a long pause. Brian hands him the keys to the Supra because he lets him get away. Because and what does of he do? Family. Push it, Sean. He drives away. He's, I owe you a ten second car. <laughs> Then he gets to the stop sign. And <laughs> we should have reenacted the race. <laughs> right. We got a train in here? <laughs> There's got to be a train somewhere. There's got to be a train somewhere. End of race. So, I know what you guys are going to rate this on our rating scale. What is our rating scale? Uh, yeah, I have well, no idea. I forgot. Oh, five hard cocks. Right? I'm giving this one five hard cocks. I'd fuck it. <laughs> No, I just said out of out of ten, and I gave last one. I gave uh, it was twelve. Joaquin Phoenix an eleven for his acting, and yeah. a ten for the movie. This movie, <laughs> it should be. <laughs> I mean, acting. The, a four acting at is best. A four. No way. This is a ten across the board for me, boys. I'm sorry. And then I love it. It's too a much. ten on nostalgia. Let's Ed- be serious now. Editing is a negative six. Because I will give this movie. I love it so much, so it's hard because I want to give it a good score, but it's not. It's not a good movie. No. The other Fast and the Furiouses are better. None of them are good. <laughs> yeah, none but of the, them are getting above it's one a of seven. The greatest. Actually, no. The best one is Tokyo Drift. No, oh. I can't stand because that fucking guy. Because of one line and one line only. I <laughs> really <laughs> like to see you lace. <laughs> I mean, it's... Yeah, but that doesn't make it the best one. It just had it's the best 100%, line. 100% the best one. I mean, this whole podcast, we didn't even say the best line. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. I can't even say it without laughing. It was the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> For those 10 seconds okay. or less. So, None of your races are 10 seconds or less. They're like fucking family, 30 seconds or less. Not a minute. my team and all so, that bullshit. It's a gang. You right. rob motherfuckers. Your overall on Ten. this movie. We know yours. If I'm being honest with myself. Be honest. Six. How fucking dare you? I, I, go, I, I, go, I go five on Fast and Furious. I... I love the nostalgia factor. I love shitty movies. I, I watch. I watch B movies. So this should at least be an eight. And I grew up no. in the perfect time. Like no, I, I was, I watched this, and, and it, I had a fucking Mustang. And then I got my import with the body kit and the wheels. It's the nostalgia for me. I'm and, sorry. And it was more a ten though. Come on now, you can't give it a ten. This movie changed. You mean that this movie is on Joker's level? Now. Go ahead and reassess your fucking what you just said. Like I said, said. it's at least an eight because of the fact that this was a movie that did change the culture. It really fucking did. People were not yeah. that big into import this, street racing like they were after this It brought it to the movie. mainstream. It did. 100%. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, but the, what we're talking about from a acting standpoint. A movie. You know, a, a movie cinematic sta- masterpiece. I'm sorry. It's a pile I, of shit, dude. I still love it, and I relate with it and shit, and like... How do you relate with Fast and Furious? The fact of being... Hey, it's his, man. Like, The Room. I'd give The Room a fucking ten. And I think that's... I'd give that a fucking two. <laughs> See? So do your thing. No, that's what I'm saying. But Fast I, and Furious for how me... How I relate right, to that fine. movie... I'm gonna yeah. give it a seven. Is, is because... I remember growing up, hanging out with everyone, going to these car meetings and going to fucking street races and just doing what we're doing, hanging out, having memories and stories. Is it a meeting but, or like a meetup? I don't remember there being like PowerPoint presentations. Oh, yeah. When I got into the car club scene and shit, we had meetings. <laughs> I don't <laughs> remember did. what the fuck they were about. All right, boys. We are over our hour limit. So <sighs> we didn't talk about the end credit. I'm going eight. Well, After all the credits were all. It's got Dominic Toretto driving in Mexico in a red Chevelle. 
Yep. And he says, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. He says it again? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing <sighs> else matters. This movie's a fun I wish they showed up in Tokyo Drift and he had that Chevelle instead of another another charger the gray one that would have been cool little cameo tokyo Just drift saying. yeah but he would have had to transport that tokyo Chevelle. drift always sounded like a that is true disease. true that. venereal disease you get in fucking vietnam i'll give it a frankie's changed my mind just the the nostalgia gets an extra point so i'll go from a six to a seven it's still a fucking five all right i'm gonna go at a hard eight I won't give it a 10 to put it on like a Joker level, but to me, that's yeah, a hard eight. What, what, it, what it did for the aftermarket car, car parts. Yeah, but it died. Is, it is did. Undeni- yeah, but not How many like, companies blew up like but, making wings and all this shit? Exalt mufflers. Veil side. Right. Ve- dude, but that's still. They're, just, they're like, fuck yeah, this is going to last forever. No. And nothing. Tell me what body kit you want on your Supra. Uh, the Riddick's. Okay. It's Riddick's right. wide body. All right. All right. So for for Jeff, for Frankie, and of course for me, f- this was another edition of TGD Spoils. Thanks for checking it out. Hope you love the movie as much as we did. If you haven't seen it, what the fuck are you waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go what the hell's the matter with you? In all honesty, if you saw, if you didn't see the original Fast and Furious, and you've seen all the rest of them. You're, you're going to be disappointed. You're a fucking <laughs> asshole. Because no, no cars are jumping buildings. Uh, no, almost. <laughs> Don't know. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you again next week. Later.